It's finally time! ClickFunnels introduced the long-awaited survey feature and you now can add surveys and quizzes to your funnels in ClickFunnels 2.0, easily ask for a name and an email address, add multiple choice questions and even input fields. In this video, I will show you how to create a survey in ClickFunnels 2.0 with different types of questions, how to add it to your funnel, change the appearance of the survey and where to see the results that contacts are submitting. Two things before we get started. If you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can use the link to our exclusive offer and get an extended 30-day trial of ClickFunnels 2.0. If you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description of this video you will find a link to a package deal that will help you save up to 50% on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. And second, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. Now let's create our first survey in ClickFunnels 2.0. If you don't see the survey app on the left here, you should click the plus button, then find survey workflows and click on this tab. After that, click add app. And on this screen, you can already create your first survey workflow. Give it a name and click create survey workflow. The way it works, we create our survey here, we add all the questions and answers that we want to have, and then we add a survey element to the funnel page and select that that survey element should depict this specific survey workflow that we created. So the first step would be to create a survey workflow here. I will start by asking for a name and an email address, then select different types of questions so you see how you add them to the workflow, and also we'll add a condition in between. For example, if a user selects a specific answer, they will be redirected to the URL that we set up. All right, let's start by creating a field where we're asking for the name. We select input in the question type. Then in the question headline, I write your first name. And in this field, contact attribute, we select first name. Click Save Changes. That's the first step of our survey. We are asking for the first name. To add the next step, we click this plus icon, select Add Question, again select Input, and I write your email address here. You can, of course, use the text that you want. And in the Contact Attribute, I select Email. Again, Save Changes. Next, I want to add a question. Click the plus icon, select a question. I will go with a single select question now. In the question headline field, we enter the question and then in the options, we can add different answers that we want to have for this question. Click add answer, then enter the answer text. To add the second answer, click add answer. Enter the text of the answer. And this way you can add as many answers as you want. If you want to remove the answer, hover over it and then click remove. Once you edit all the answers, click Save Changes. Next we will add another question, but with a multiple choice. Click Add Question, select Multi-Select, enter your question and then add the answers. I will quickly add the answers here and then we go to the next question. Let's say now we want to add some conditions. For example, if a user selected answer 1 in this question, they should be redirected to a specific URL. How do we do it? Click the plus icon, and this time we select not a question, but outcome. In the outcome type, we select redirect. Click submit. And you see that the workflow path is now split into different paths. Let's add our condition here, click on this icon, click Add Rule, select the question, and then add a condition that you want. You have multiple options here. I will go with equal to and answer 1, which means if the contact selects answer 1, they will be redirected to the link that we set up on the next step. Click Save, then click Redirect and enter your URL here. Click Save Changes. Now we need to define what happens to other contacts 
who select different answers. Let's add another question and this time select the input option. Add question, input, enter your question and then save changes. And after that, this survey workflow will end. If you want to edit the questions later, just click on the tab with the question and it will open the settings of the question. And if you want to delete it, you just hover over it and click this delete icon. You may be wondering now how to set up the outcome of the survey. So what happens after a contact submits their answers to our quiz? The answer to that is we don't do it in the survey workflow. We do it in the settings of the survey element that we add to the funnel. And that would be our next step. So we're done with the survey workflow here. We can go back. By the way, this feature is still in beta at the moment of recording this video. And I assume that the look of this page may slightly change. The team may add some options or some icons here. For example, if we go to the settings of the survey now, we cannot even delete it, but I assume it will be possible later. And despite that, I believe that the whole setup will stay pretty much the same. So the next step is to add the workflow to the funnel. Go to the funnel page where you want to add a survey. Open it in the funnel editor. Add new element. Look for survey. This is the preview of a default survey. We go to the settings of the survey and connect the survey that we have just created. Click on this drop-down and select the survey. The next important step is to select what happens after a contact submits their answers to the survey. You can do it in the survey action section here. Click on this drop-down and select the action that you want. You probably would use something like redirect to next step, so the contact goes to the next step in the funnel, or go to and then you paste a specific URL where you want to redirect the contacts. I will go with the next step. And last but not least, in the settings of the survey element, you can change the look of the survey. You can select how a question and the answer looks like. Let's make minor changes as an example. I would like to change the color of the hover. Then I want to change the color of the progress bar. change the color of the button, and so on. You see that you can change the look of the input field, define margins, padding, add some background, shadow, border, and change the view of the corners. Once you're done editing the survey element, don't forget to save the changes. To briefly sum it up, we created a survey workflow in the Survey Workflows app. Then we added a survey element to the funnel page. And in the settings, we selected the specific survey that we want to use on this page. Set up the action, what should happen after a contact submits their answers to the survey, and adjusted the look of the survey a bit. Now we can test everything. To do that, preview the page. And let's quickly go over the survey. Enter the first name, email address. This is how a single choice question would look like. I changed the color of the hover, but I also should have changed the color of the text here. Select one answer, click next. This is the question with the multiple choice. Remember, we also added a condition here. If I select answer 1, I should be redirected to a specific page. In this run, I will select different answers. And then that's the question with the input field. And after that, we should go to the next funnel step. Everything is working correctly. That's the next step in my test funnel. Now let's go back, refresh the page. In this time, I want to test if I will be redirected when I select answer 1 in the second question. That's the answer I should select to be redirected. Click next and see what happens. I'm redirected to the page that I set up, so everything is working as expected. And by the way, that's the package that you can get to save yourself almost 50% on your ClickFunnels 2.0 and also 1.0 subscription. All right, our survey is working as expected, and I guess the last logical question that you may have is where you will see the results that the contact submitted in your survey. 
If we go to the customers, contacts, we will see two entries that I created in the survey. If I click on the name of the contact, it will open a page with all the details about the contact. And then I go to the marketing tab. In the survey section, I will see which service this contact took. And when I click on the submission, I will see the answers to this survey. Now you know everything about surveys in ClickFunnels 2.0 and can easily add them to your funnel pages. If this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content.